Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about comics again. <laughs> oh God, when do I not? But no, um, I was thinking about like you know how DC just released their webtoons comics or whatever and stuff like that. And from what I've seen, people are really enjoying it. Again, not my kind of cup of tea. I kind of would have preferred seeing more of an action oriented webtoon for the comic books. But that's just me because I've seen action thriller um, webtoons and when it's action, it's action. And that's what I would have loved to see DC do stories that's focusing on that one. But hey, it is what it is. I understand. Do you. But the reason why I'm also bringing it up right now is because it's like, you know, you, I'm always hearing this thing is it's not made for you. Right cool right and i have to wonder why is it okay to tell people of geek culture what something isn't made for you is okay but then the the geek culture stuff wasn't made for the normal people but yet we make these changes and accommodations for them i, I i'm kind of confused on that one you guys, help me make that make sense. Why is it okay for geek culture, pop culture stuff to have to change to accommodate for, uh, for people it wasn't made for? Let people tell it. So, you know how, you know, I said I don't really like the webtoon thingy. Well, it's not made for you. It's made for, it's made for other people or whatever and stuff like that. Okay, great, 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 great. So, we're taking Batman, Batman characters, right? Um you know, characters that's been around since the 80s, I mean, for 80 years, right? And we're putting them in a slice of life book for people who don't read comic books, yet at the same time in comic books, we're making changes to classic characters for the people who don't really read the comic books in general audience but let you tell it it's not made for them so if it's not made for them why are they allowed to come in and make changes then or why are they allowed to do whatever with these characters when it comes to geek culture but if it's anything else people just be like you just gonna have to deal with it or don't watch it don't or don't read it or whatever why is it when it comes to geek stuff, geek stuff can get can be changed as many times as it want to be to accommodate people it wasn't made for? What? Make that make sense, people. I'm just kind of confused on, on how the hell that works. Why is it, oh, we can make webtoons for Batman characters, but you can't give me classic Batman and Robin stories without insulting my intelligence with it without changing the characters completely or adding political gain or changing their sexuality to accommodate people who don't read comic books it'll be different if you guys weren't changing the actual landscape of comic books for an agenda that's why i really have a problem with it is because it's like this would have been fine if you weren't making changes to the comic books that's the problem there there are too many changes in the comic book landscape that is happening that's really annoying to be honest and then you're doing webtoons okay so why you couldn't make those those all those changes that you were trying to do why you couldn't do that with webtoons then or with whatever why is it when in the comic books you have to change everything about the comic books to accommodate other people. But then when you do something outside of the comic books and comic book fans come and say something, they get criticized. But then um, the people who come into comic books, they criticize and y'all change everything for them. Even though it's not supposed to be for them. It just doesn't make any sense. It's very hypocritical, to be honest, because it's just like, no, no. If, if it's not for me, then 
why is it okay for you to come into to my niche area of the market and change it up for the people who didn't care for it in the first place but then when i go outside of the niche market where you're taking the ip to somewhere else and i talk about it it's not made for you that don't make no damn sense then in general the comic book ip characters weren't made for you neither so that means don't watch the movies don't watch the shows don't watch the don't play the video games don't buy the merchandise and stuff like that what you know what i'm saying like it's weird like you don't tell people that kind of it's not made for you well technically it is because you're taking a property batman which most people know batman and comic book readers know batman and they want to see batman being batman you can't get mad when you get criticism for hey why did you um decide to make batman a killer in this movie or show or whatever or hey why did you make Batman this pussy or why did you make Batman uh, th this family slice of life book or whatever and stuff like that and you always get it's not made for you as a as a comment or whatever and stuff like that again I'm not saying that the webtoon series isn't doing well or whatever and stuff like that it is a cute book but it's weird to see Batman characters in it <sighs> excuse me that's what I'm saying because I don't want nobody to be like, oh, it's because, you no, know, I don't hate, actually, I don't hate it. First off, the book was goddamn too short. If you, if you really want to know the truth, the book was fucking too short. Three chapters and them chapters were not long enough for my liking. I don't care what nobody say. I've read some webtoons and the chapters are a little bit longer than what the hell DC did because it kind of felt a little bit damn lazy if you really want to goddamn talk about it and dick grayson wasn't in it like if you really want to know my opinion don't those really were bothering the one of the bothering things too short felt lazy and where was dick grayson at if you really want to know my real feelings about it and why cassandra wasn't wearing the batgirl costume instead of that orphan costume. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is what I... That is my little my little beef with the book or whatever. Again, cute book, but... Damn it. <laughs> you know? Of course, like I said, you're allowed to like it. Go ahead for it. But it's just... I just kind of find it weird. Like, we made all of these changes in comic books for people who don't really read comic books or anything... But now we're sitting up here doing webtoons for people um, who don't read comic books and people are liking it. So my thing is, great, great. You, you, If you got an audience for webtoons, go back and start retconning all of the bull crap that you guys were doing in the comic books that you think is, is working and it's not working. Because <laughs> that's what I want you to do. If, web, if this webtoon series... You know, these ideas that DC Comic Books is doing um, with Webtoons, if these ideas continue to do well, that's great. What I'm saying is that means no more experimental bull crap in the comic books. No more retarded changes that you know would annoy people. Because if you want to do those kind of changes or whatever and stuff like that, do it in a, a Webtoon book. That way it doesn't affect the main continuity and people won't be up in arms about, hey, you changed a character for 80 years that has, you know, history that says otherwise. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how I feel about the whole thing with the webtoon. It's not made for you kind of argument thing. It's just like if you're going to do the webtoons thing and if it's going to get traction and if people are going to love it or whatever, that's great. But don't make those changes to the comic books themselves and go back and give hardcore fans what they've always wanted then that's that's how i feel you you, you kind of already know what your audience want and yet the the mainstay audience gets pushed aside for the flaky audience if that makes sense you know what i'm saying 
the audience that don't really care about comic books is the ones that always get more accommodation than the people who've been reading these books for years. And I never quite understood that. I never quite understood that why the people who've been holding the comic book industry up forever are the ones that get spit on every time it's time to do a, adaptations, um, any adaptation to anything. And then when we say anything, everybody's first comment is like, oh, it's not made for you. Well, it technically wasn't made for you either, though. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. The only reason why it works is because they, they decide to make changes for you for to accommodate your wants and your needs. And I feel like that's not fair to hardcore fans or fans of the comic book series themselves who want good comic book stories then. Do your little slice of life, cutie little thing, diversity changes in webtoons and let the hardcore fans, the OG mainstay fans, have their have the comic book stories that they want then. That's how I feel. I just, you know, I'm just saying, fair is fair in, in the situation. But yeah, um, tell me what you guys think in the comments section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.